and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching us later on over there for some Teamer Hydra to start today off. So today, um, instead of doing the four decks like I usually do, I'm going to just stick to two decks today and play them for a little bit longer. Usually I play around five matches with each deck. I'm going to go ahead and play ten matches with each deck. So, you know, I'll double it up and play a little bit more here in ranked. Kind of having a, a ranking uh, day here on this fine Saturday afternoon uh, where I'm at. So yeah, we'll get 10 matches with Team Hydra, 10 matches with Gruul, Arc, Bow, uh, get our 20 matches in here today, uh, but you know, split it between the two. But then we have a little bit bigger sample size of how things are going also with the two decks. These are two of my favorite decks right now. Um, as you can see here, I'm trying out some different stuff from the last time that we played it. We got a fourth Bio Essence Hydra in here instead of just the three. Um, you know, we had we had three and two Sarkins. I'm going. I'm taking out one of the Sarkins for just another Bio Essence Hydra because of how strong this card is. And then I'm also then the other small change is we had four Phoenix, one Domri, and I'm going to try three Phoenix, two Domri. So you keep the same number of Planeswalkers. You know, just basically. Uh, Sh shifting from a Sarkin to another Domri because I like all I also like the four mana so a couple of reasons I like the four mana Planeswalkers before Bio Essence Hydra and uh, so we can get the loyalty and Domri of course works just so well with Hydra giving Hydra haste you know with that plus one ability given the Hydra riot so I think those those work really well together so I wanted to get another Domri and another Hydra in here and so that came at the expense of a Phoenix and a Sarkin so that's that's a little bit of changes that I'm gonna try here. Uh, no, I don't like Domri's Ambush. Domri's Ambush is the kind of card that you you know you have to wait till a lot later to be able to play it, um, and you know of course you you need your creature not to to die also while you're playing it. But I want my my two mana removal spell to be able to be played on turn two. That's what I want. I want to kill Runaway Steamkins and you know Wild Growth Walkers and the, like the different aggro creatures from Mono White and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I want my mana, I want my removal spell playable on turn two, not, um, you know, like because I don't have a whole lot of ones and twos because obviously Crisis we're not playing on turn two, so like not a whole lot of stuff early. So if if my Domri's ambush also couldn't be played on turn two either, like, like what am I doing? So no, I don't I don't like Domri's ambush at all. All right, so yeah, let's let's see uh, how we do today, how far we can climb up the ladder with these two decks you know we'll, we'll kind of be playing here see if we want to make any changes while we are playing also see if there's anything to change because it's kind of the good part about playing in ranked is that uh, if you do end up wanting to change stuff you can change stuff at each match you know you're not locked into the same deck list throughout the entire event so there we go So we're starting at 98% because we went on a <laughs> losing streak last night. Well, that's all right. It's a new day. New day, new decks. And uh, let's see what happens. So playing two similar decks here, you know, Teamer and Gruul. Just the only difference there is the blue. Our current deck is pretty Planeswalker heavy, as opposed to the Arcbow deck, which is more going to be more creature heavy. <laughs> I say as I look at a hand of just creatures and lands. Demir Guildgate. So this is Esper with a little bit of a budget mana base, maybe? Or it's just could just be straight up Demir also that just wants that extra dual land, which makes sense too. Cure is just a perfect draw. Ah, it is Esper. Yep, both these will be up on, on YouTube. Yep. 
Most definitely. Krakens, Leviathans, Octopuses, Serpents. Mm. Oh, I love them all. Okay. So I can still play Bioess and Hydra next turn. It cost me one loyalty, but I think it's worth it to, you know, to attack and put pressure on our opponent. The past, Yuck. Present, and I don't get to draw an extra not. card because of Narset. All right, maybe it wasn't actually worth it. Um. So if I play Bioessence Hydra, it's an 11-11. Or I just play Phoenix. I'll play the Hydra. I love to make a splash. Or it's 10-10, sorry. It's 4 plus 6, not 5 plus 6. Hmm. Kind of wish I didn't attack with the Paradise Druid, with the Narset being played. Hone your prowess. Hey, Techstar. Let's slow this down. Thanks for the sub there. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Always enjoy the stream. Keep up the great content. I, I will. Thank you so much, Techstar. And taking the Phoenix. We don't get to draw extra cards with Hydra court with the Hydroid Crisis, of course. But yeah, it looks like attacking with that Paradise Druid ended up being pretty bad for me. With how this has played out. I don't know. I mean, would I just still attack the, you know, attack the Narset to kill it? They would have had the cast down for the Hydra, the Bioessence Hydra, which honestly maybe, so honestly maybe it could be better for me if they don't have any, any like way to deal with a very big creature like this. They did. Well, I mean, I can't just sit here and not play my Hydro Crisis. Ugh, man, this Narset's killing me. We'd have an extra five cards if it wasn't for this Narset already. <laughs> We'd have five extra cards in our hand right now. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, they have command the dread horde. Gross. All right, looks like we're going to sideboarding.
All right, Daredevils, Carnage Tyrants, Ugin, Coil Out. This is honestly not that great of a matchup for Hydra, just because, you know, cast down. Kaiserath, stuff like that. Like, they can answer big creatures pretty easily. And so, like, car like so these Carnage Tyrants here are basically just, like, replacing Bioessence Hydras. You know, like, I'm just, just trading out big creature for big creature. How many creatures is that? 25? If I cut this one, we have 24. Yeah. Yeah, so... So the Tyrants and Ugins just replace the Hydras. And then Daredevils replace Coils. That looks pretty good. We don't really want to play Direfully Daredevil on turn two, I don't think. Because, you know, assuming they have Thought Erasure on turn two, which is very, very, very likely, we want Daredevil to be able to Thought Erasure them back on turn four or have them, you know, give them, like, the Daredevil to take with the Thought Erasure. But just putting it out on a 2-1 is just not going to be as good as the card can be. Hey, Chief Seth. Happy Saturday. So my only double green card is... is Nyssa. I don't need double green next turn. I mean, well, besides Carnage Tyrant, sorry. I guess that's coming in from the board. So I'll just, you know, not, not pay life. Ugh. Turn three Thought Erasure also. It's a stormy Saturday there. Hmm. It is nice and sunny here. Well, this is a lot better hand than what I got going on over here. That's for sure. Honestly, maybe I should just discard the land war elf. Keep the other land. No, I haven't played the the special format. Uh, you know the current. You know whatever format, but um, if you're looking for ideas for a deck list for that thing. I was kind of hoping not to draw another Krasis because the Ixalan's binding. But anyway, if you're looking for a deck list for that in in the Discord channel, I saw people were posting some decks in the desk in the Discord channel that they were having success with there. Even though now that I think about it, that might have just been in the in the sub room. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I don't I don't quite remember.
You call it anarchy. For me, it's just another day. My wild beasts are bringing your comeuppings. All right, well, glad I cut the land war off. Getting some damage in. Okay, it was it was posted in the arena best of one room. Thanks, Storm. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. Planeswalker? No. Ugin would be really good right now. I mean, just because Ugin's great, but Ugin could destroy the binding, and then we can cast the Krasis. Tamio or Nissa Carnage Tyrant Spellbreaker Daredevil Daredevil's not doing a ton, but wouldn't be bad. Phoenix. Well, I guess they drew Command the Dread Horde. They're looking through the graveyards. You went turn three, Rhythm of the Wild, turn four, Ilharg into Double Riot Ravager Worm. That is living the dream. That is living the dream. Why do they want the Dom Ring? I guess to fight other things that I draw? They're not going to just fight a Llanowar Elf, are they? They're fighting a Llanowar Elf? Really? A Llanowar Elf? Like, they could have just, like, had Teferi. I guess, or, like, Basilica Bellhaunt. Like, why not just take Basilica Bellhaunt? Why, why Dom Ring? Wait, that might be me. Hey, what's up, Zerf? Happy Saturday. I do hope you make this battle Ugh. exciting. They are drawing a lot better than we are. I'm gonna draw a Carnage Tyrant, I guess. It's pretty good. Anyone. Waste not, want not. Alright, Spellbreaker. Phoenix. Spellbreaker. Alright, down to one. Oh, Nissa? Man, Nissa would be great. Or Tamio. I know my responsibility. Direfully Daredevil also. Because Tamio we could Reverse. You know, we could Tamio uh, get back Daredevil Rise and then and Daredevil shine. Elder Spell <laughs> and kill all these place. things. Oh, how about a land? Like a fun new toy. No time for a break. I bow to no one. Uh. 
And that's it. Like, Spellbreaker next turn is not going to do it. I'm not sure why I can draw the turn after. Remember, the turn after they'll have four creatures. And they, they could have, like, Domri kill a Spellbreaker. Keep up the pace. No, I, I don't have any shocks in the deck right now. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Liliana is very, very strong. I'm drawing Command the Dread Horde into Liliana back to back. Too good. After that, I drew Carnage Tyrant into Spellbreaker. That was that was cool. But then a couple lands. I mean, there's just so many ways to deal with the Spellbreaker. Right on schedule. Like, if they get greedy, no, like, if I draw I another Spellbreaker and have, can have double Spellbreaker haste. No, I don't have any hell kites. No. I mean, I could still draw Daredevil or Tamio to Elder Spell all their things. Hey, what's up, Shekel? Happy Saturday. So the one decision I regret during all of that was it was in the game one attacking with the Paradise Druid. That's the one decision I regret in all of that. a pretty weird hand. We're going to go ahead and give it a try. Mono white. Don't love my mono white matchup. I don't have any good sweepers. Like, I could play Fiery Cannonade, but a Fiery Cannonade would basically just be for this matchup, and, you know, I don't really want a Fiery Cannonade for this matchup. I mean, sorry, I want it for this matchup, but sorry. <laughs> I would like a Fiery Cannonade, but it, sorry, it would basically just be for this matchup, and I think that it's too small of a matchup. Like, you don't see it very often that to uh, have it in the deck. I am here to sorry. aid in the assault. Share in my light. I don't think I have time, unfortunately, to play Domri or Kiora here first before the Phoenix. Prepare for battle.
look forward to seeing you running away. We are the many. All right, so we're gonna have all three attack to kill Gideon. Or I can play Kiora and untap the Phoenix for defense. I'm gonna do that. I believe in you. When we block, if we block with Phoenix, then we get to draw a card because Phoenix dies. Comes on back into play, gets a draw a card here. So yeah, this is definitely looking good now. Getting that tapper out of there. Draw a card. So I can make Krasis a 5-5, five five, or I can make it, a, you know, I can untap a land and make it a 6-6. Six six. I guess we do that. The other option would be making it a 5-5 five five and then untapping Phoenix after attacking Let's with Phoenix. But 6 gains us another life and draws us another card. Hey, Alexis Bros. Alright, coil, coil, shock, shock. And then uh, Brontes and Ripjaw Raptor. Let's take out Nissa. Maybe take out Sarkin. Yeah, this deck's sweet. I like this deck too. So the problem is, I just kind of want to cut the Planeswalkers, but. Then that makes my Bio Essence Hydra not nearly as good if I just cut Planeswalkers. But like, Tamiyo... You think keeps Arkin? I mean, I don't expect Sarkin's ability to actually kill things, because by the time we have a Sarkin in play, they're going to have... Yeah, you know, they're going to put counters on their creatures with Luxodon or have Benelish Marshall or things like that. But yeah, Sarkin does help help my creatures fly over there, so I suppose. I got Phoenix also. Nah. I guess I'm going to go like this. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. We got Krasis and Phoenix for flying already. Hydra's upside is huge, though. And, you know, if we have Hydra with, with Kiora... We can, you know, like, it, it can swing games that we would have otherwise lost. But yeah, so I'm playing uh, trimming two, but I'm gonna still play two, play the other two. Well, hand's not great. It looks like our opponents wasn't so great either with clifftop retreats for their lands. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this here, and hopefully draw land, and so you know, like we we wouldn't have cast that coil later on. Land, please. Okay, okay. Um, I'll show you dry walker something truly spectacular. Off. 
So pay two life or take a loyalty off of Kiora. The ocean surges, life thrives. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? I think maybe I should just pay two life. I don't know. You get green mana, please? Because, yeah, like, two life, I would have kept Kiora alive. Don't miss me too much. There. <laughs> Gosh, we're getting all of our blue red lands. That's crazy. Just all blue red lands all the time here. No, I think no, see that would have made that would have made a big difference if I would have paid two life. They would have had to attack with both four threes if they wanted to kill Kiora. Which is a big difference. Instead of Instead of just attacking with one four three. There be careful. Come and destroy. Hey, X Pure Rated. I was wondering if you could play a Mardu Angels deck list I built, not sure how to submit it. Yes, absolutely, sure can. Um Yeah, just you can put the if you're here in Twitch chat, you can put the the list here in chat. That'll work. Um, you know, just send the list here or yeah, usually whenever, whenever you just do the, the donation message there, just putting the link to the deck works there. Ah, uh, okay. So, okay. Let me get you. So you need to make it, you need to get a link. Um, here, this, this works pretty well here. You can put it in here, make it a, make it a deck. And then, so you have like a link for it. Cause yeah, I can't can't copy paste from the from that chat too e easily. Um, and then is it or like then when would you like me to play the deck as well? Is the next question. Is playing Carnage Tyrant instead of Bio Insider crazy? If I don't have nearly as many Planeswalkers, this is basically 5 mana 4 4. If we do that. Yeah, basically, I won't be doing it today, but I can do it tomorrow, Monday. You know, I can do it. Uh, so, like, if you want to go tomorrow. Um, then I'll be playing four decks, so you can choose first through fourth uh, between the 3 to 10 Eastern time, which time slot you would like. You know, it could be tomorrow or, or any day next week, you know, any, they're all open. All right. First tomorrow sounds good. Get you written down here. No attacks. So they didn't play land either, right?
Yo, let's get a Brontodon in first. Yep, perfect. All right, cool, got the list. Perfect. So I could reduce one toughness of Brontodon to kill this 1-1. One, one. I'm going to do this gonna make it hard harder for them to flip the landing if I used Brontodon to sack to kill the history banali I'd basically be taking out the other token I can have this thing block the other token and you know basically be the same thing By a kraken before. Nature flows with vigor. Could really use another land. Stop. Oh, Shockland, though. I love to make a splash. Cool, so pure rated. Yep, I'll be doing that. I'll play that tomorrow first for you, right? At, you know, at 3 o'clock. Thanks for that donation. Benelish Marshall was their top deck? Come on. Really? Really? That's 12, that's lethal. Come on. Can't catch a break. Ugh. Like, we were looking like, I was looking, I think we were looking like pretty good here. But that Benelish Marshal just destroyed me. I mean, doesn't doesn't really matter with us being at two. It's possible I'll just never win a game of Magic again. It's possible.
All right, Vivian, you're you're benched. Who has some wins in them? Time to set something on fire. Jaya. Ral's not a bad one. Both of our games against Esper, you know, we had like 10 lands both those games, and then, you know, we have the game like that where we have two the whole time. Until the... Until our last turn. Um, yeah, I changed a, a couple of things with the deck. The Basically, I, I took out one Phoenix for another four mana Domri, and I took out one Sarkin for another Bio Essence Hydra. For a main deck. And then sideboard, I put in some Carnage Tyrants. Um, I'm just going to minus. Wow. They're just letting me Spellbreaker this Narset. My mind needs a rest. So assuming that's the other phoenix that's gone now. Do you think I'm a trace this? I bow to no one. They only have the one black source right now. Which is not very good for Grixis. Like, Grixis definitely wants a lot of black sources. Oh, well, there they go. This could be a ritual of set. Now. Can't be Dragon God. I'm not finished with you. Not by a long shot. Do you come to me? Well, they didn't have ritual of set last turn. We'll see if they have it this turn now. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to play both of the decks today in an extended run. I'm going to play 10 matches with each of them instead of doing four decks in five match sets. I'm going to do two decks in 10 match sets for today. So I think I sideboard with this just like I do against Espa. If you missed that one earlier, basically, against these removal decks, they can kill Bioessence Hydras without too much trouble. So, like, the fact that Bioessence Hydra is just a huge creature isn't as valuable. Um, so, replacing the Bioessence Hydras with Carnage Tyrants and, and Ugins, some things that are a little better here against Control. And then Daredevil comes in for Coil. So stream should still be about the same amount of time. Here, just doing... I'll you know, be playing 20 matches today. Doing it in a little bit different format. We'll see. <laughs> the plan was to try to, you know, play two of uh, my favorite decks and to try to rank up with them, but only a couple of losses so far. Maybe we're just warming up. Maybe the wins are around the corner. They shock in there, so I'm expecting Bedevil. Ooh, I look forward to seeing you running away. 
Even though the Domri dies on our turn with the Devil, where Spellbreaker wouldn't, I still think it's it's good enough to just get the Domri and get the minus, get some card advantage. Perfect minus for us, you know, like, well, I don't know about absolute perfect, because Carnage Tyrant would be pretty good, but hitting two cards is very good. Kefnet can be tough to beat. All the crazes is. Hey, Sly Guy. Spark Happy Saturday. Suffer for your cause. So they need two more lands to be able to flip Ravager. They didn't play a land last turn. I don't know which one of these is scary. Like, you know, once they flip Ravager, that's pr pretty scary. Let's get rid of Kefnet. But Kefnet, you know, it's Kefnet's triggered ability, pretty scary also. And then I'm just trading Lanor Elf for, nickel, for that Nickel Bolas. So that's a pretty good trade. Yeah, the Jund Revival deck was submitted by um, Sway Cryo, who we played a few days ago. No land, no land. Alright, looks like they definitely have the land. <clears throat> they're debating what to do here with this. Okay, they're not going to shock in. Liliana? Come on. My army will invest. What a good, mindless minion. This is not good. <laughs> Your boldness is so... No. Five. Domri. Ugh, there's all the lands.
So if they flip Ravager, get... They flip Ravager, get Dragon God, kill the 5-5. Five five. Then I can have both of my creatures attack Ravager and kill Ravager, but then, you know, get rid of, like, my 3-3. Three three. And then they still have Dragon God. Looks like they haven't really drawn instants and sorceries. Maybe I should have just bedeviled the Ravager the first time instead of the Kefnet. Throughout the multiverse. Everything good play, good play. Is power, and I am everything. <laughs> good help is easy to find in war. I honestly don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this cameo. We need Domri. Dang, should have named Carnage Tyrant. Really wanted Domri. Domri, we could play Domri, fight the Kefnet, and, and life would have been really good. Oh, Hawkeye's doing great today. Yeah, he is. You can see him there. He's laying he's laying down on the couch. That's him right there. Behind the table. Yeah, Domri and Archibolus, that was that was the line. Because then then these things are pumped up, then I would have been able to kill every I would have been able to kill all three of their planeswalkers and the Kefnet if we would have hit Domri there. Like this, this would have been a six-five to kill to kill this. This would have been a five-three to kill the Liliana. We will meet Death again. won't conquer me so easily. Jeez. Oh, they should be casting dispersal there, right? Just three mana. Yeah, like that. That definitely seems like a dispersal. Or, or, yeah, they are at 11. I guess I could have just killed them. <laughs> That's true. Could have just killed them since they're at 11. <laughs> That's true, too. I know all there is to know. Many players don't know the back half of Discovery exists. It's a good call. It's a tough one. It's a tough one to know. I am the master here. Uh, get out of my way. <laughs> oh, Tamio. 
stopping things from happening. Like always. All right, so they block there, block there, and I do nine. So they're dead. So I could just play the Spellbreaker and kill them. The past is or... Forgotten. Two, four, five, you think six. I'm a crazy beast. Where do you see my mate? <laughs> You're gonna hurt when this is through. Or I get a haste crisis. So my opponent can complain about me having all four crises. Alright, one and two. We did it. <laughs> I can't believe we won that. Yeah, it was looking a little grim uh, against both Nicol Bolas's and um, and Liliana. That Nissa was a good draw. This deck's cool. All right, one and two. You got one deck in the standard meta for, in a match for the fate of of the earth, what deck would you choose? Uh, I would play Esper Control. This for the fate of the earth. Sounds ominous. If you're telling me I, I'm just playing in a tournament, My prowess is meditate and I'm playing like, probably taking this deck. I like this deck a lot. Go, Spellbreaker. Oh, I haven't I haven't entered the code for this Narset. I was not yet. I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Just watched Endgame, there you go. If y'all are also aren't up to date on all the codes, there's there's all the codes. I just put it in the chat. Exclamation point code. See all the codes that are available on Arena right now. Yeah, Domery will die to the flyer, but I don't want them just to be able to get, a, you know, a whole lot of free 1-1s. One -ones. Hero Precinct 1's pretty good. Sorry I'm late. I'll protect you. Yeah, it doesn't always work out how you want. Ah, 
a beautiful day for chaos. Busting heads is my bread and butter. So I guess I'm gonna get the Tamio disparked, I suppose. I've got it. I'm sorry, were you doing something? Hmm. The moon looks intriguing tonight. I will not stand for such vile. No tail should be discarded. So I could, you know, kill the elite guard mage, try, try to protect Domri, I suppose. But again, it's just not, it's just not really worth it. All right, so that's three heroes dead. <laughs> no, that that dispark was not necessary. They got the one one, but I'm I'm glad they cast it because yeah, they could have just attacked Tamia. I was kind of hoping they were gonna cast it. It kind of feels like they may have another dispark, but. Oh well. Need to actually tap green mana. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Rise, my elemental friend. Sure. Just no Command the Dread Horde, please. And no Teferi Hero Dominaria, please. If you show remorse. I'll show restraint. Let's take it back. Yeah, this is the fifth event. Yep. Currently getting to ferry off the battlefield. This is hardly my worst defeat. So we know we got Nissa coming back in two turns. Just really hoping for no command the Dread Horde. Or anything, really. Yay. They had no anything, and we had a good draw stab. All right, Esper control again. This one's hero though, and they're probably gonna keep in some more heroes. Actually, I think we're gonna play some shocks. I still take out coil, but I think I wanna play some shocks where shock can, can help finish off a Teferi or a Narset or something, and can kill hero. So if I play the two shocks, I have to cut two other things. I could cut these Domries. Yep. 
Yeah. All right, gonna replace those Domeries with Shocks. Because that Domery, it adds mana, which is good, of course. Um, but doesn't have a whole lot of loyalty, and the fight part may not be great against the Esper deck, especially if they if they do take out creatures, too. Hey, Boots here. Rex is here. Sabinox. Hey, everybody. Hope you're having a good weekend. All right, one Domri down. This is where I draw Kiora. His friend Sulphur Falls. This isn't a fight you can win. Here goes nothing. I've got time. Okay. I'm still going to play the Domri, so I can give my creatures haste. Well, well, what do we have here? Yeah, I wasn't, wasn't really expecting too much there with that minus, to be honest. But we get the value there, we get the, the ramp. Trust me, I have a plan. This isn't a fight you can win. We need to move quickly. That was kind of the problem with what I, I was doing is it wasn't necessarily a great play against Teferi. Like, you know, if they had a five-man Teferi also. <clears throat> oh, and they have oh, you haven't Elder Spell like that? Gross. Oh, well, that was just awful, awful situation there for me. Certainly playing the Spellbreaker last turn and killing the other Teferi would have been a lot better against that couple of cards. That's more like it. That's been, like, my problem the last... Yeah, our opponent could have ultimated Teferi. Yeah, they, they certainly could have just won there, right? Or no, they could not have ultimated Teferi because they, they had to play the Teferi and untap. But... That's been my problem the last couple of days is like the whatever line I take, my opponent has the cards to make that line look really bad. Let's skip to the good part. And now I can't get through the, the double Teferi at all. Alright, should Might kill the three man Teferi when you have the chance. But we get to be on the play for game three. Being on the play here, we would have been able to play. Um, that's not a bad draw. We would have been able to like play our four drop before, like with help of the land war elf, before our opponent would have had the little Teferi to bounce our land war elf. Would have made a huge difference. Really hey, what's up, Eddie? Coming. Thanks for that sub there. Second sub of the day. Hold that thought. 
So question is, you don't have many planeswalkers in there, why not side some suns? Well, first of all, we have 11 planeswalkers in our deck. We do have a lot of planeswalkers. It's more than one out of six cards is a planeswalker. Second, I'm not... Second, I'm not nearly as big on Immortal Sun right now as I was a couple of weeks ago. Right now, um, Esper players are ready for Immortal Sun. It's not, it's not nearly as val valuable as, they used, as it used to be. Cause they're all playing to Sparks, even Main, as we saw here this game. It's not the like real shutdown card that it was just a couple of weeks ago. If we draw a land, we can go Phoenix and Spellbreaker. What, what is that doing for us? Not much. Okay. Well, we're not dead. Daredevil's awesome. Should we have another Daredevil in here instead of instead of three Carnage Tyrants, three Daredevils? Really? Trust me. You'll thank me later. Keep up the pace. I can't imagine any scenario where that was the correct thing to do. That's fine with me. All right, let's. Hmm. Yeah, let's draw more cards. Ooh. If I if I could have double spelled with Phoenix and Spellbreaker last turn, I would have. I mean, I could have if I shocked, but I'm at three. I don't want to shock. Yeah, this is a deck that's probably playing Othakaya. I want to get out of the three life range. So that's why I play the Krasis, get out of that life range. Then the next turn, I'd have Spellbreaker Phoenix. But now I get double Spellbreaker, which is even better. Hold that thought. So we can either... No. Boo. All right, so, you, so that means we'll have to kill Narset instead of Teferi. No, I haven't tried Shaper Sanctuary. It's always a card I've considered, but haven't pulled the trigger on that one yet. But like when putting it together, I was, gave it a good look-see. And Spellbreaker is so good. No time for a break. Yep. Spellbreaker and Shalai are both counters to Chandra. Shalai even better because, you know, it can be either turn and Shalai and, you know, like they're... Um, 
and Chandra has to shoot herself. Hmm. Want me to phase you out of time? That's a good one. So Tamio rebuys direfully Daredevil. Let's skip to the good. Then we play Daredevil, and then we can Dispark or Elder Spell. I guess Elder Spell or Thought Erasure. What kind of auto tapping was that? Now what? They just used three green sources when I have all green cards in hand? I just realized that. I guess I'm just not gonna play this Paradise Druid. I was planning on just playing my two Paradise Druids here. Ugin. Really doesn't seem like my opponent has anything going on over there. Alright, I need to start paying attention to this auto tap. Auto tapping again, just horribly. I train everything. Keep an open mind. I have practiced against many foes. Alright, six man in our set. Hone your prowess. Didn't even go to that game two. It's game three. Now our deck's performing, Hawkeye. Now we're doing stuff. Good job, Hawkeye. We're on the draw with this. This is going to be Mulligan. New Vivian. Ooh. I like it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Putting a couple counters on creatures and give them trample. That's big game. Then my three kill something. Not really blocking with Paradise Druid or Landmore Elf, so. I like it. 
like it. And that card works really well with a Danto Vanguard. You have a Danto Vanguard Trample. And put a couple counters on it. Very good aggressive start for our opponent. Good one. Crisis. Ooh, love me some bio essence hydra. Hey, Necrolepsy, good afternoon. Yeah, unfortunately, we can't play Hydra and Tamiyo same turn to make Hydra super big. So the Hydra just a 4-4 four four right now. Yeah, their hand was awesome though. I don't think I don't think their hand gets better than this. Like four mana, like perfect perfect mana with four lands. Like drawing exactly four lands, perfect mana. And then Vanguard's double spellbreaker. And then three tricks. Like it just honestly doesn't get any better than that. So we'll become more we'll be more prepared here. I don't even know if the shock's that good. It probably is. Like, they're probably playing the hasty thing. Hmm. Uh, the Legionnaire thing. Or 10th District, whatever. Um, what do you think, Hawkeye? Okay. What are we doing here? Tamiyo too slow. So I'm thinking Daredevil for like their removal. Maybe not. All right, I'm gonna go with I am gonna go with one Daredevil over a Bioess and Sidra. So we'll see if we draw the Daredevil. It would have been better as a Hydra. But trim some other Planeswalkers. I'd rather have Hydra here. Fleckmeister. Bringing that six month resub in here. Bringing the high boats. Thank you so much. So saying 5 0 with Grixis Control is wondering, besides Thieves, what cards am I looking to possibly bring in versus Bant midrange decks? Hmm. Ritual of Soot is really good against the Bant X. Killing all their creatures and everything. Like, you know, killing Nissas and everything. That was the first thing that came to my mind. 
Um, Does Honor Guard do anything? Is there something that Honor Guard does? That I don't know about? So now, this time we ha we're on the play and we have an amazing hand. And I just have the two mana. Oh, I don't draw a card because I don't draw cards off Kiora. Sure. Yeah, I guess it cancels Kiora's draw. Yeah. That was. Hmm. Daredevil. It stops Daredevil. That's what it's doing. All right, so we'll take out the Daredevil then and bring in, bring in the Hydra back. Yeah, Honor Guard's not a main deck or not a bad main deck card with yeah, all the explorer and there's just a bunch of other random things that sh that it helps stop you know like in mono red it stops via Sheena pyromancer and chain whirler and esper is all about basilica bell hunt these days helps out there as well I'm not attacking the Paradise Druid into like the double stomping ground over there. Good chance that they have like a shock or whatever. They're just gonna kill my Paradise Druid. I don't want that to happen. <clears throat> so I was going to, after Nissa resolved here, I was going to have Kiora untap the stomping ground first tap it for a red and a green, and then have Nyssa animate the stomping ground, tap it for a red and a green again, and then play the Phoenix. I was going to play Phoenix this turn also. If if I would have used the Nyssa first to untap it, and then try to use Kiora afterwards, if they have Lightning Strike, they can Lightning Strike in response to the Kiora trigger, the Kiora minus. All right, and we're three and two on the day. Coming back after starting 0-2. Getting on a roll now. Man, this is a good hand, but it's just so slow. And we're on the draw. Like I don't, I don't think we can keep it. But it's like good mana, good powerful cards. It's an unfortunate one to uh, Mulligan. There was probably a Paradise Druid, like, right on top with that other hand.
Looks like this could be Nexus. Which is honestly probably really good against me. I don't have Cinder Vines or like anything. Like I guess I have Brontodons to de destroy some stuff, but you know, you just don't see Nexus too much these days, and you're hoping the Teferis keep Nexus in check. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. Seek and find. to seeing you running away that's right getting the big haste creatures in here the land war elves take that Tamio is noted take that Tamio's done for now I know I noted this somewhere. Please do not refer to Dex as cancer. Just diminishes the very real and tough battle that so many people have with the disease. But no, this this does not look to be um Simon's one from the Mythic Championship this weekend because that one, yeah, this, that one didn't have like these cards at all. That had that was just like a, a blue green ramp deck. It had Nissa and Tamio, but that's like the only two cards. The same. Uh, uh, the first this looks time like. I've been knocked about. So do I kill Nissa or Tamio? Like if I kill. If I killed Nissa, then Tamio gets Nissa back. So I feel like I feel like I have to kill Tamio. More data will be needed. You know that means my Domri dies. And our opponent, you know, has not very much more mana, I guess. I guess there's only one breeding pool. Uh, yuck. Two breeding pools. So Nyss is an extra four mana this turn. Good, it's inside, not another Tamio. So his cancer is gonna flip. Behold, nature's true power. I'll be back after I've licked my wounds. You'll see. They just have another chemistry's inside in hand. I hope so. I hope it's not frilled mystic. I'll, 
I was kind of throwing that out on the waters first to see about Frilled Mystic. Because if they have Insight and they want to cast Insight, they're going to have to tap their other island also and have no blockers. So M20 does not replace M19, but M19 will leave standard. Um, oh, that's that's gross. When they're really considering blink of an eye, that's gross. Yuck. Yeah, M19 is going to leave in yeah in September when the fall set releases. My patience. That's not good. It's usually late September, like the very like last week of September. But sometimes it's the first week of October. So yeah, it's it's like right it's right there. It's hard to know, but it's it's one of those two one of those two. basically the same thing you know it's like a you know a week different so it's but they haven't they haven't announced that yet which I'm surprised it hasn't been announced yet thanks Jeracy yep there's the link for what's rotating Have you given this? Have you given uh, this deck a, a try, Fleck? I really like this deck. Both this, like both the two decks for today, I like a whole lot. And we're we're playing ten matches in ranked the with them. We're playing a little extra with the decks today. I didn't play my last turn very well. I should have played Nissa first. Yeah, I should have just played Nissa first last turn. I just tapped all my land of war elves and like these two lands, played Nissa, and then I would still have enough to be able to spellbreaker plus coil. I was kind of testing for Frilled Mystic, but I, I didn't really consider Blink of an Eye. I should have. I played that turn pretty bad. Nature's true power. This one's over in it right now, though. Um, Bant's a little tough with this deck. I think Vance probably the deck I want to see the the least actually. I think I'd, I'd rather face Bant than or I'd rather face Esper with this deck than Bant. Um, but with that being said, I think I'm. I've only played it like twice, and I think I've won both times. I think, but it you know didn't didn't feel so good. Like it was real close and everything, and uh, I was getting a little fortunate, if I remember correctly. So if we bring in Daredevil and Brontodon, does Brontodon just replace? 
Phoenix? Hmm. Daredevil can replace Coil, but what's Bronzedon replacing? Maybe the Kioras? Like two Kioras, two Phoenix? I don't know. Kiora's just always great. But I guess it won't be as good if we take out Phoenix. Give me the Sugan over a Tamiyo also to kill things. Yeah, give me the Sugan. Um, if you had to replace Bios and Hydras and Carnage Tyrants, uh, I would play the fourth Phoenix and then uh, I'd play like a Phoenix and a Sarkin over two of the Hydras. And in the sideboard, instead of Carnage Tyrant, I'd play a Daredevil and an Ugin. Come on, deck. <laughs> We're playing a bad matchup here. We can't just have like these hands that don't do anything. Yuck. It's a card I don't want to put to the bottom. Love me some Daredevil, but we need we need a green source. I mean, if we do draw a green source here, we can have turn three Domri, and then get haste haste crisis haste crisis. Oh gosh, Bio, haste bioessence Hydra is awesome. We did not draw the green source, though. So we did. I guess we're technically not dead yet. All right, all right. We drew the green source, maybe we're not dead. Duels are for Personovs. Let's just fight. All right, now we're probably dead. I don't think I'm beating the news. Oh, what? Can't finish your job. Play Ooze and next turn Nexus of Fate. It's not bad. Alright, three and three. But yeah, I mean our our deck's not built to try to beat Nexus of Fate at all. Like we're we're not beating Re Wilderness Reclamation. Gotta hope not to get paired against that again. Our our best hands would have a chance. You know, that's you know, hands like where we can ramp into um Bioessence Hydra. But Duels 
Those are for push nods. Let's just fight. Wild beasts are bringing your command. Looks like this is probably a Bant deck. For the people that... The person is asking about the Bant matchup earlier. Alright, Domri did its job. Ooh. I'm going to keep a loyalty on Kiora instead of de dealing one damage. You know, I could, I could minus Kiora and, and do one damage to them with that. But I'm going to keep the loyalty on to make Hydra an 11-11 instead of a 10-10. Wouldn't mind drawing another Planeswalker too. Get some more counters on this Hydra. So like mass manipulation stealing Hydra is like the only thing I'm worried about right now. Love it. Let's get moving. Why do I love Kraken? Oh, just can't kelp myself. <laughs> just can't kelp myself. So I'm not I'm not untapping this this Hydra. I guess they'll just steal the other one. Yeah, they'll just steal the other one, but oh well. <laughs> All right. Man, that thing's big. <laughs> just 18 18 trampler? Like, how do you beat that? You don't. You die. I'm sure they're glad they used that enchantment removal on my stupid Domri. Need some JR on that. By God. <laughs> okay. Um, not a whole lot to do in this matchup. Not a lot to do. I don't want to see mass manipulation steal Mahindras. Oh God Almighty. Yeah, there's not really, there's nothing really here that sticks out. Like, I, I guess Ugin. Ugin instead of Sarkin? I guess Sarkin minus isn't so good against Teferis if they're playing a bunch of Teferis. This can like help. Sarkin can steal games though, like with our other planeswalkers just attacking over for a bunch of damage. It can steal games. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I'm gonna sideboard anything. Yeah. <laughs> Bioess and Hydra is now stone cold. <laughs> hmm. Not another red source. I don't think I ditch it though. We do draw, you know, other like our four mana planeswalkers or 
Crasis or anything. I think we may need may want that. Swap in Brontodon versus Prison Realm. Hmm. Because Brontodon, be, besides killing a Prison Realm, Brontodon is just pretty weak. And even then, it's like four mana to destroy a Prison Realm. So that's like not even that good. I mean, it's not. It's just not better than anything else that I have. Well, glad we kept the land. Perfect draw. And like, even at that point, like Prison Realm could just exile my Krasis where I wouldn't even get it back. So then I'm just playing like this 3-4. It's just like, they have some removal spells, it's fine. I don't want to play a 4-mana card that basically his only job is to destroy a removal spell. Well, you know, it's it's 3-mana, but, you know, the, the activation also. If we see... If we see Immortal Suns from them... Now we're talking. Deputy? Hmm. Maybe I need more coils. Alright, Krasis. Where you at? No, I was thinking Nessa would be a good card for me to draw, not for you to draw. I mean, like, so, like, what am I supposed to do here? Attack the Nissa for four, they just take it, and then they make another 3-3 three, three and just attack back for seven, and I'm just, like, dead? <laughs> Paradise Druid gives you a man of any color, like Bird of Paradise. Just good naming right there. There are many kinds of duty, and mine is to see our world grow and endure. Harness the elements. Okay. Wait, your tie's gone, but you still have the you still have the emotes? I'm going to trim two Spellbreakers for an extra Coil and an Ugin, where Ugin can destroy enchantments if we want. Oh, so your sub just ran out, so you still have the emotes right now, but if you refresh Chattel, you won't have the emote power anymore. I mean, this hand is kind of ideal for to start with, but there's nothing, there's no payoff, but you want to be really fast on the mana. I oh, just got a mulligan. Ugh, man, Bioist Tider would be so great here, but now we don't have mana. <laughs> if this would have been my draw steps for the last game. No. I don't, 
like this. Please no Nissa. Please no Nissa. Please no Nissa. No, no. Come on, turn three Nissa. Magnificent world. Rise, my elemental friend. Hey. The ocean surges, life thrives. I have turned four, Nissa. I protect that which cannot protect itself. The land fights for us. Whoa, Eisenhaft gifting that me. sub to Storm. Thanks, I Santa Eisenhaft. Yeah. There you go. Hide. How dare you not wearing your tie? Well, you just got to pay it forward now, Storm. You got to give to somebody else. So now, at another time. The tie is the, see, like that badge on the left hand side. Uh, that tie there. Uh, myself, I like wearing a tie because I like how it looks. Like how I, I like how I look in a tie. Correct. Planeswalkers becoming dragons do not trigger the draw, but Sarkin's minus and putting a dragon into play with the minus ability does trigger the draw uh, from Kiora, but doing the plus does not trigger. The land shall conquer you. Turn four Tristani after turn three Nissa. Come on. This one's over. That's just a perfect hand. Blech. We have not been catching too many breaks today. All right, three and four. We've had two of our two of our roughest matches the last two. Our first two losses were ones that. I think that uh, we could win most of the time, but just didn't have, just didn't really have it. Kind of like this. This is a bunch of bleh. Please don't be Bant Ramp again and play turn three Nissa again. All right, so it is Bant. I mean, this this has got to be Frilled Mystic here. Just shock pass, like this is Frilled Mystic.
Wait till next turn until my Krasis can draw two. Nature flows with vigor. Oh my gosh. Not like two as in... Ugh. Oh, well, I was losing this anyway, but... Uh, uh, two is in draw two. <laughs> and gain two. Yep, whoops. Oh well. We'll just get it back with Tamio, I guess. Well, I mean, they're just going to frill Mystic anything I play. Even worse when Frilled Mystic comes with a 4-4 attached also. I love to make a so they get to counter my spell and get a 3-2 and get a 4-4. Dang. I am not going to sit this way. Ugh. <sighs> Where are the Esper players? Can we go back to playing against Esper? I probably just should have... I probably should just have like two Star of Extinctions in my sideboard, to be honest. All right, I'm going to fight over mana creatures here. Instead of playing Spellbreakers. Yep, that stays. Eyes and F. Yep. You get to keep it. Now Nissa. Or Krasis. Krasis. is really good. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Bradley 
Joker deserves its demise. Attack. Down to three. All right, now we're on the draw. Tamio on the draw. Hmm. Want spellbreakers instead of Tamios on the draw? No, I want Tamios. Tamios just that card advantage engine. One, one Ugin, one Tamio. Ugin kills Nissa. Killing Nissa important. Byron Head with that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for that support there, Byron. Welcome to the channel. Uh, yeah, all right. We got some removal spells for for their ramp creatures. Damn, that was a bad draw. We need lands or mana creatures. Ourself. Perfect. Come on, deck. We need lands. Give me some lands. We need a third land. So I can play Tamio here, tick up. Doesn't really matter what I name, but Tamio will still, like, the next turn be able to minus and grab a fifth land. Well, bad news, we didn't draw a land. Good news, they did not play a land. This time we, Nissa. Let's turn turn four, Nissa. But yeah, still good enough. Good enough. So with the opponent missing a land drop. All right, four and four. Now we're going. Now we're going. All right, can we draw a land this time? Again, all we need is our third land, and then we can play Domri and kind of go from there. We need to draw a third land, though. That's not it. Yay! We're doing it. Other guilds. Rude. Uh -huh. Alright, we're kinda not doing it anymore. Come and destroy. We're kinda not doing it anymore. Please don't have a coil. So I could play Tam could have played Tamio, you know, to dig towards lands, but Okay, 
Okay. We'll take it. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. You're asking what I play in, in modern? I uh, I'm uh I've transitioned to just being a full time arena streamer every day. I don't play modern anymore. I haven't played modern since last summer. Oh yeah, there's there's definitely color combinations that I have not tried arc bow with. That's unfortunate. I was thinking, oh, I'll play this seven toughness Hydra. They're not going to be able to kill it, and then next turn it's going to just grow like a lot bigger. It's unfortunate. I can bring it back with Tamio, I suppose. You would make an excellent. Let me aid your research. I want to take up Tamio though. Yeah, we can take out Tamio and get it. Perfect. I can minus Tamio and grab the coil also. See, that's the curve. Tamio finding Hydra, and then you play Hydra, and now Hydra's really big because the Tamio. What else is like a good four of here? I think you will find my notes helpful. I guess I just kind of want a Kiora. Ah, should have named Hydra again. Look at that little Ferox. How people are like, oh man, no light Ferox is so big. Well, what if, what if your no light Ferox was even bigger, twice as big even? I mean, they're, they're just dead. Like, they're just dead. I question this outcome. <laughs> Have at it, boys. I will aid you. Makes the Hydra 1717. All right, two more coils. Cutting Sarkin cuz like they, you know, like like the the dragon doesn't match up against Phoenix or you know, or lava coil and if you minus Sarkin they shock it. You know, don't love it here. I don't love Nissa here either, but it's Nissa and this is good. I guess I should be playing this Raptor, I suppose. I'll play a raptor over over a spellbreaker. Yeah, all the elementals with Nissa. Yep, those are good. Turn two, Kiora. Turn three, Domri and Spellbreaker. Boo. I had a master plan. You 
look like lunch. Time to clam up. Tides always rise again. Hmm. So they miss a land drop. Duels are for push knobs. Let's just fight. Yay. When I'm finished here. If they would have had a shock, that would have been disastrous if they would have shocked Domri. In response there would have been disastrous carry on, carry on. Um, one two three four five yeah, we won't answer to other guilds Hydra. Boo. It's the command is rotate. For what's rotating when from standard, so rotate. All right, so they drew back-to-back -back land, so what can they do with five mana here? Let me keep all the planeswalkers. Seek and find. Wow, double double hydroid crisis? That's convenient. I was raised by wolves. So the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisis for six. Tamiyo sweet, this is sweet. Crisis and Hydra are sweet. And our deck is sweet. All right, we're back up to a winning record. Five and four. <laughs> GG's John Doe. I had some good hands there.
but GG's. Okay. Last match here with Teamer Hydra, and then we'll move over. We'll do 10 matches with Gruul Arcbo as well. That's the plan for today. Hmm. I'll keep this, even though our mana is not... I mean, our colors of mana are good, but the all tap land all the time part of our mana base, not so good. Uh... Yeah, Domri. Yeah, Domri will whiff sometimes. Um, I'm kind of expecting the minus two. You know, I basically have it going in, like knowing that, like getting one card, is going to happen quite a bit. But with, with how powerful Hydroid Crisis is, you know, if you get to the the point where you where you are, able to. Um, where you're able to be like activating Domri, like even if you just you know helps dig towards Hydroid Crisis, it's usually fine. Or of course Bio Essence Hydra at the right time. Also. We will not fail. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Very slow hand. Unfortunately, we're playing against Bant again. Again, not a match I really want to face. Like, I, I can't beat Gato Eternal Oketra. They're going to be the, the two longer videos. Yeah. And they're not really even that much longer than normal. Like, we've, like, these games haven't been taken too long. Our video, the video is probably going to be about two and a half hours. Right now, honestly. But yeah, I'm just doing it as the two longer videos today. All right, Sly Guy, take care. Hey, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub out the door. Thank you so much. Seek shelter in my stewardship. Let's get moving. My elemental friend. My opponent's like, hurry up with your turn, you're dead. And I'm just like, I know I'm dead. Just relax. That's our six of the day. The land shall conquer you. I'm not sure, Colts. I don't know. Maybe not. But, you know, maybe. I don't know. I'd say if I had to, if I had to guess, I'd probably say the, there's a better chance I'd no than yes. So they're just, how are they not attack? Hmm. Because they don't want their things to die. All right, so they get a, they can get a bunch of lands in play, but... surges, life thrives. Behold, nature's true power. No, they drew something good. 
because that's what it's seeming like. Oh, it's probably just an. The looks like it's just another Nessa in hand. For those who are worthy. Which that's also bad for me because their lands are indestructible. It's better than than them drawing like a Hydra Crisis though. All right, so that gets 11 cards out of their library. Oh, Immortal Sun? All right, well, that's game. That's game. All right, so I guess we're going to have to play Brontodons. Ugh, I can't deal with Immortal Sun. <laughs> Yuck. You don't stop the Mortal Sun, obviously, but... Uh, bleh. I don't think there's, like, a necessarily a good rule of when to attack or when to hold your creatures back. Um... The main thing is is letting creatures die in combat when you're attacking just to get a, a small amount of damage in is usually not good. You want to you usually want to try to like you want to value cards and having a better battlefield than the opponent more than life totals. So usually trying to be really aggressive to close out games <clears throat> with sacrificing creatures is you know again this is a usual thing but it's usually not a, a good thing to be doing. So four of our ten matches were against, like, the two decks that I don't want to face. Well, you know, mostly that's Bant here, but also, you know, like, we're just not going to beat Nexus. That was one of our matches, but that's just not a deck you really face too much either. You know, like, Wilderness Reclamation. Like, we're, we're not beating Wilderness Reclamation. Well, hand's not too good, but we're already at a six-card hand. So we're in there. Really hope this isn't... Really hope this isn't Nyssa. Please don't be Nyssa. Come on. Together, we will prevail. Yeah, turn element. three Nyssa again. Whatever. Bleh. Where's the Esper players? All right, I'm gonna play one more. I said ten, but we're we're tied five and five. We gotta break the tie. I don't want to end on that crappy game. Can we just play against Esper all the time? <laughs> that's what I that's what I want to play against. We did lose one time to Esper earlier, but we had some really bad hands slash draws. We just had like ten lands both games. And we beat Esper another time. So we went one one against Esper. Rule.
I think it's easier to have turn 2 Thought Erasure than turn 3 Nessa. But they're both very powerful. Hmm. Our second time playing a Naya deck. Let's keep drawing creatures. Yeah, turn two Tajik on the play, that's quite strong. Then I'd turn to Spellbreaker to break serve. Should be serve breaker. <laughs> yeah, not expecting Leyline Anticipation to see any play with little Teferi around. So leading with Bioessence Hydra instead of leading with Tamiyo here I feel like Tamiyo would be more uh, like if I if I play Tamiyo, it's more vulnerable. That maybe uh, maybe the Bioessence Hydra has a better chance of we untap with it because then I just play Tamiyo and then the Hydra is a ten ten. They should really be attacking there. That should certainly be an attack. Look for Krasis. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. The Krasis. Oh no! Tajik! Uh no cancel. As soon as I was pointing it, I saw the Tajik and I was like, no, but I was you know, I let go of the button. <laughs> Uh, too late. I let go. You know, I like I was pulling it up and I dragged it here. And as soon as I dragged over, I saw the Tajik. I was like, no, but I let go. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of stuff you won't won't do when you're playing Paper Magic, because you know you'll you'll look at that and you'll be like, wait a minute, you know, like they won't be like, no, spell resolved. You know, you can't. Yeah. So mess that up. <laughs> Whips. Just all out at me. Interesting. And good. All right, so let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We're going to block those. We go to 13. Or we go to 2. Yeah. That's our only block. All right, so all we need to do is draw a Planeswalker and we kill him. Oh no, they're at 22 now. Never mind, we don't actually kill them. Hmm, this is actually going to be tougher. 
than I thought. We're at two. So we kill that. Hmm. Aid your research. The problem with get Domri and fight Oh wait, this isn't gonna work. They just attack out. Hmm. Oh, they didn't attack out. Is Sarkin lethal? I don't think so. It's definitely not lethal. No, they can't activate Hellkite. I need to minus Tamiya last turn though instead of taking up. I have learned much from my ancestors. Dang it, auto tap. My only real out if my opponent would attack out, you know, they could have killed me last turn if they would tap out here, was me drawing a land war elf off of the crisis and being able to play land war elf also. But the auto tap. But I, as you can see, I was running out of time. So I couldn't, I couldn't deal with the, the tapping too much because I was running out of time. So I need the auto tap to leave me a green source. So that's why I played it for four instead of five. Last turn I needed to minus Tamiya last turn though, not not tick up, and so that like the next turn I could minus again. So I could have had two spells to play there. Should not have t ticked up on Tamiya. All right, so coil the wrong thing that cost me. Like there's a lot of things that cost me that game. I could have won that game. All right, so they have big flyers that we need to worry about. I guess you kill big flyers.
Yeah, maybe Crisis for five was the best bet because it was still lethal on on the battlefield, but they missed it last time. But I mean, I had two draw steps to hit a Llanowar Elf, so maybe not like the best bet. Did they just miss lethal again? I don't know. Maybe it was. All right, draw land, and we get Krasis for four next turn. I boarded out Nissa actually. So that's not going to be too much of an option for us. Let's get a little bit more defense out here for the Ugin. So I'm just playing Ugin there, ticking up. They killed the 2 2, and then. Ugin takes some damage. Yeah, we can we can have the Ugin kill the Hellkite. Every exploit ripples so bathe in ghost fire. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, I'm doing well. <laughs> Too hot down there? I'm jealous. It's, you know, just kind of like a regular like sunny-ish day here. You know, probably like 75 or something. I wish it was warmer. Like our chances here. Oh, you had to stop working? Ah, oh, dang. Are you still are you still selling the ice cream? Is it Cause this would be a, a perfect day to sell ice cream, right? If it's really hot out. I know you were having problems with your truck though before, so I don't know if you're still doing that. Yeah, Riot is a is a choice to either you get to choose either your creature has haste when it enters the battlefield or it enters with a 1-1 one, one counter. So you can either have this could either be a 3-3 three, three haste or a 4-4. Four, four. You, know, you get to choose one of those two. Breaking spells. Breaking spells.
All right. And we're there for game three. Could Game one was winnable. Hopefully our deck doesn't punish us too bad here for this game three. Come on, give us a good hand. All right, we'll try it out. Whole lot of shock lands. May not be ideal against the aggro deck. So we have Krasis for three next turn. Or Kiora could die. Alright, ignoring Kiora. Nature flows with vigor. Bio Essence Hydra. It's a good one. It's a 10 10. Can we hold on? Please, nothing great to follow this up with. If our opponent can just kind of take a turn off. For us here, you know, we're trying to stabilize. We're at 8, though. Not much life. Yeah, playing a turn 3 10 10 and not being able to stabilize. <laughs> That's kind of rough. Yeah, it's just lethal. Turn 3 10 10, swing for lethal, says the opponent. Dang. Okay, so we ended up going five and six with the teamer deck. Honestly, pretty disappointing. I'm still really high on the deck. Um, <laughs> we kind of ran into a lot of that. A lot of a lot of opponents having just amazing hands like that, kind of thing. <laughs> it really should have a life link too. So we went. All right. So with our our matchups, our breakdown here, we lost to Wilderness Reclamation which I expect us to lose most every time to that. We went 1-2 and two against a Bant mid-range, Bant ramp, which I think that's probably about right um, for three matches. That's a, a match uh, that, you know, we'll win some, but not one that I really want to face. And so that was four matches that don't really want to face. Um, and we went 1-3 one, one, in those. And then besides that, we went 1-1 one one against Esper Control, which I, I do think Esper Control is a good match. I was pretty disappointed with the match that we lost. Um, uh, flooded out a couple of games pretty bad and and everything. I was disappointed in that one, but we went 1-1 one one there. And then we went 1-2 and two against some aggro, against like these creature aggro decks. We lost to Mono White, and then we went 1-1 one one against Naya aggro. Both of those losses were pretty disappointing. Um, one of the losses, that last one, I probably could have won the game one with better play. And, or at least, you know, gave myself a lot better chance. But both of those were, you know, a little disappointing. I wouldn't mind playing against those more. But that's just how, you know, that's how it goes. Just three matches. It can kind of go any way, but they went one, two for us today where you know like play like those same three decks you know tomorrow could that that could easily be a 3-0 um and it's about all i can kind of remember i think we played against a gruel deck 
I think we played Gruel also that we won that one. I don't remember what the other decks that we were beating and everything as much for the full breakdown, but yeah, uh, as far as the deck goes, this, you know, never, never played Sarkin during the 11 matches, sideboarded out Sarkin a lot. I know I've had, like, Sarkin's very, yeah, I don't know, it can win uh, <laughs> matches like where you uh, stall out against the opponent. Like if you if you do play against like a Command the Dreadhorde deck kind of thing, like where you're both just kind of playing like your Planeswalkers and creatures and stuff, Sarkin can be really good there. But I could see taking Sarkin out. Um, yeah, but there's only one copy in the deck, true. Tamio was, was good in a couple of games, not so good in a couple other games. You know, Tamio's there for a grind card for sure. Daredevil is awesome out of the sideboard. Oh, we played against Grixis. We yeah, that was an easy one. That was an easy win. It was against Grixis. I could see instead of playing three Tyrant, playing three Daredevil. We kind of talked about that. Daredevil was awesome. Daredevil's very good with Tamio also. Like Tamio rebuying Daredevil so Daredevil can can do whatever. I think I'd want to do that. I think I'd want two Tyrant, three Daredevil for the Esper matchup. You know, just going Daredevil Elder Spell is so good. Um, you, know, you can even Daredevil Command the Dreadhorde. Even. But, you know, Daredevil to Spark. You know, all, all sorts of cards. Thought Erasure is, like, a number one hit also. I think I would want to play... I think I'd want to play a third Kiora over the Sarkin. I think that'll just, you know, give us a little bit more consistency and everything. I think I'd rather have Kiora than Sarkin. Really like having Kiora early. Kiora has so much loyalty that you can just slam down Kiora on the empty battlefield too. Like when you don't even have anything to protect Kiora and they have creatures because either they're not going to actually kill Kiora by attacking or they just ignore Kiora. One or the other. But there we go. Teamer Hydra. Pretty sweet deck. Um, all right, that's our that's our part one of playing two decks here uh, in some longer videos of ranking up here in Mythic. Didn't you know, didn't finish above 500, so not ideal, but, you know, small, small sample for us here, but still a sweet deck. So we're going to move over to Gruel Arcbow here. Hopefully our opponents don't curve out really well all the time <laughs> uh, up next, but there we go. That's it for Team Hydra. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed this longer uh, video and you know, longer look at, at the deck. Um, but please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. Uh, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.